Hi, my name is Brian and welcome to this week's Ask Brian part of our weekly newsletter. The newsletter is something that the Data Science Lab here at Johns Hopkins Biostat puts out every week. You get a chance, sign up for the newsletter. Also, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and there's a link in the video description below where you can submit your question. So this week I'm going to ask a question that pertains to something I'm working on right now, so it was at least fresh in my mind, but it's not something I can really claim a ton of expertise on, uh, but at least I can give you my solution and my answer. So someone basically asked me, they want to use R as a backend API uh, for web calls, and so, um, and they want to ask me, how do I do that, if, if I do that at all? So let me draw some pictures to what I think they were asking, what I think they wanted to do. So they have some form of client. Um, they want to make a call to a server. They want that server to call R. They want R to return the information to the server and return the information back to the client. And they probably want this data transfer in some standardized format like JSON or something like that. So I think that's roughly the idea of what they were asking. And we used to teach Y hat in the data science specialization. We don't so much anymore. And um, so here's some, some ideas about how, we might go, how one might go about doing that. Um, before I describe this, uh, one thing I would, I would mention is if your client, if, if this is just what you want is like an HTML or JavaScript, you know, web page client here, then you can do this whole process in Shiny um, where you know, it will host the web page but also handle all the back calculations to the server to call R. And, and Shiny is more of a kind of a, a full stack sort of solution to this problem as opposed to what I'm gonna describe. So let me, let me assume that that's not what you want, that you don't just wanna create a web app because uh, Shiny will just kind of handle that. Let's suppose you're in a situation like the one I'm in. So let me describe that. So I wanted to be able to use uh, an Amazon Echo to call a server that was running R in the background. Well, the only way the Echo can communicate outside of Amazon servers is through uh, just port 80 uh, over HTTPS. So I, I needed to over, you know, port 80 to communicate with the server, have that server call R and communicate the results back to Amazon. And it's not going through a website. Okay, it's, it's going, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that a Shiny app could handle. So at any rate, what I used for this uh, is we've been using Plumber, uh, which is an R package. Uh, and what Plumber basically does is it uses uh, Nginx, which is uh, engine, uh, it, which is basically like, a, like a, an Apache server. It's exactly an Apache server. Um, and that, it, you know, a Plumber, uh, creates the infrastructure for creating R applications that Nginx can call when it receives the information, um, you know, uh, from HTTPS. Um, so Plumber is one solution, and that's the one I'm using, and that's the one I know. And I can't really critically evaluate it against other things because it's the only one I've tried, and it, it it's pretty easy. Uh, Plumber has a bunch of um, utilities that makes it easy to, uh, you know, deploy the you know all the files on say for example a digital ocean server which is what i'm what i'm doing so look into that i'll put the uh, link to the documentation that jeff allen the author of plumber um, has just created i'll put the link to that in the youtube description um, but i want to mention another uh, so there used to be something called r apache so that's another potential solution though i think that has been absorbed into another big project called open cpu uh, ah, uh, uh, by Jerome Ooms. I hope I'm pronouncing his his name correctly. So I've never used OpenCPO, but um, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Uh, I think it I think it can accomplish this as well. Uh, and it seems like a really impressive impressive package. I think our Apache. But last time I checked on the website, that that's that's been absorbed in OpenCPU. Or, but again, I'm I'm talking a little bit about things that I have don't have much expertise in. So at any rate, I can tell you that my solution to this problem when I had to do it this week is I used Plumber and it's been working out just fine. Okay, so submit a question if you get a chance. Um, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to our newsletter, and I'll see you next week.